Welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. My name's Connor Williams and we're back with another video. Um, and the video today is on the potential new ownership of Everton Football Club and that being 777. Um, the news broke today, this morning, that 777 partners have signed an agreement with Farhad Mishiri to acquire his stake in Everton, which accounts for 94.1% of the club's shares. Uh, the other six, I think, is broken up um, into, I think, you can buy, you could have stakes if you were fans, um, and then wherever else it is. He'd, he'd be majority shareholder. They would be majority shareholder. They will make majority of the decisions. Obviously, it goes to you know the rest of the shareholders, but if you own the majority, you don't have to listen if you don't want to, uh, which I think is probably how we're all going to asterisk Farhad Mishiri. Um he did put out a statement, he being Farhad Mishiri. He said, The nature of ownership and financing of top football clubs has changed immeasurably since I first invested in Everton over seven years ago. Um, bearing in mind the Usmanov links, you could read a little bit into that um, a little bit more. Um, but for the sake of let's because that's all alleged let's just say Mishiri's decided that it's too much for him now is basically what I'm reading there the game's moved on and it's too much he also went however it is through my lengthy discussions with 777 that I believe they are the best partners to take our great club forward with all the benefits of their multi-club investment model um is worth noting that um he also went on to say and to our fans, the last few years have been challenging, but you have supported the club throughout it all and consistently been our 12th man. You are the best fans and deserve success. Um, listen, call me a cynic, but he can stick that one. Um, he can really stick that last that last one right where the sun don't shine. Um, I don't think he cares. Um, I don't think he cares. And I have got this worry that he is selling us to anybody um and everybody anybody who's gonna do it um yeah uh, the last statement is just crocodile tears it's it's you know it's just words it's just words he can't say ah you know what i've hated Ron in this club i'm off um he, he's trying to pander on his way out but other than the stadium which he's not going to see fully come to tuition if he sells us there is no good that's come of his ownership of the football club um if anything we've gone backwards we were under Moyes a 6th 7th position club obviously football and the Premier League and the teams around us have grown since then as well um, then we went to Martinez and all that um, then about 20 managers uh, and now three relegation battles it looks to be on the bounce um, no, no trophies um, no finals really uh, well, no finals at all. A couple of semis, I think, but that's about it. It's a very f over six hundred million spent uh, on players alone. It's not good, is it? Um, moving with seven 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 though. Um, it, it it has to be said by the way that there's still a long time, like way to go for this. They reckon it won't be done till the end of this uh year, this like annual year, like twenty twenty three. Um, it has to go through. The Premier League, uh, they have to prove that they've got the money, 777, to buy us. Um, they've got to prove that they're fit and proper. I don't know how the fact that one of the main men has a criminal conviction works with fit and proper testing in the Premier League. You'd assume because it's to do with drug trafficking as well. It's not like he's been you know, caught nicking a loaf of bread to feed a family. He's been caught drug trafficking. Um I don't know how that sort of bounces back. Um, there have been alleged other things, but it, he has been convicted of that. Don't know how that affects the fit and proper test. Um, but you know, a lot of people are saying that seven seven seven, ignoring all that, don't have the the resources to acquire the club. Uh, nor will they get support of all the parties that are required to give that support. The asks another one who believes that. I think they've got a lot of hurdles left. I'm not. Um, I'm not thrilled by this but I'm not panicking yet because they have got a lot of hurdles left to go through. Um, so yeah, I'm not hitting the panic button just yet on 777. 
Josh Wonder, the founder and managing partner, came out and said, we're truly humbled by the opportunity to become part of the Everton family as custodians of the club and consider it as part of a privilege to be able to build on its proud heritage and values. Again, very copy and paste. Most new people will say that. Nobody's going to come by the club and go, woof, this is going to be tough. So that is worth mentioning. Um, obviously, there are a lot more uh, to go. The Everton Football Club Company Limited Shareholders, uh, they've come out and said, we note that the intention of the largest shareholder, Fad Mishiri, is to sell his shares to 777. Receiving only a few minutes of warning of this proposed change of ownership is disappointing, and yet again, the poor timing of the club announcement before important games is baffling. The owner and the club continue to treat shareholders and fans with disdain, and we encourage the current and proposed future owners to walk their engagement talk immediately. The fans are the most important asset of, of any football club. Um, yeah, and I think they're right there. Obviously, they've not been told. Uh, Fad Mishiri's just pulled this. Obviously, talks came the other day, but they were quite... It was already a bit advanced then. Um, everyone knew he was trying to sell, but again, he's just pulled it quickly on us. Um, since his era, Mishiri's 80 players signed, over 750 million invested, eight managers, no trophies, one season of European football. Um, absolute honestly, it sums it up. We'll probably do a video on Mashiri's era. Um, I, I yet to know if I'm going to do that. Um, I, I low key hope I do. Um, because the disdain I have for this man is beyond comparable. Um, I think it's absolutely atrocious what you can come and do to a football club over a over a seven seven year reign. Um, but we're here to talk about seven seven seven. Um, we did say, are you happy with seven seven seven's partners potentially owning uh, Everton Football Club? Leave us your thoughts on them and Mashiri leaving. Um, seven hundred seven hundred. Um, 759 of you voted 53% are saying not happy 38% are saying I don't know and 9% are saying yeah happy uh, I will read out a few comments as well like I said I think we will do one on Mishiri's reign looking back at it but Mishiri glad to see the back of him very very happy I've, I've said this for a long time I know Bill Kenwright um, has his criticisms and I think that's right as well but um, I think sometimes we've aimed it a little bit more at him when it should be both of them because they're um, symbiotic. Uh, and Fab Mishiri, at the end of the day, I think makes most decisions. Obviously, they are advised by the chairman and I, that's why I say they're symbiotic. And obviously, with the chairman, it goes a little bit longer than seven years. But um, I think Mishiri at times has really managed to get away quite easy. Um, and for me, he's as bad, if not worse. And um, reading a couple of your comments, um, nothing but the best. EFC put Mashiri's top money and run. Meanwhile, Everton has sold to the worst owner than he ever was. Um, obviously, not many people are happy about the seven 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 stuff. Uh, I, I will get in before we finish. I'll I'll read into a couple more of their um other clubs they own. Uh, because they do own. We are just one of many in the seven 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 partners. They put out a tweet themselves saying, um. Well, 777 Partners Foot said that they're an X account which relays news. They're not the official account. Um, so a couple of other people have put here. A lot of it is, you know, sort of jokes um and stuff like that. Um but it's you know, it's it's, it's not great. Um yeah, I just I think it's really tough that you know fans have been wanting a change at the board for a while. Myself personally wanted five machinery gone. I guess it's one of those be careful what you wish for um sort of thing you'd be damned if you you know better the devil you'd know than the devil you don't sort of thing but um yeah it's just absolutely astonishing um how quickly he's done this and right before the Arsenal game as well which isn't great we're in, still in the same trouble we were in you know before I'm not saying that we're the defo one but it's not news that you need you know coming into it You've obviously got all the alleged stuff about them as well, them being 777, which, I mean, okay, some people might not be that fussed about some of the alleged stuff, although the alleged stuff is more harrowing than his actual conviction. Um, 
But it just it just seems a bit shoddy from Farhad Mishiri and and the others as well, because the others will have known um on the you know on the board that this is happening. I don't think he's pulled it over on the chairman's eyes, for example. Everybody should have known. Um Everton did also say in due course, um I, they'll be writing to shareholders to ask their support of the completion in the transaction. Um and then sort of <sighs> Then the shareholders will get a say, but um, the, the, this being Fab Mashiri saying that he'll write to the shareholders, but he owns the majority of the club. So if the shareholders that are right now to say no, and he says yes, it happens either way. Um, it's not, it's not like it's, I wouldn't hold your hopes on that. The biggest hope is that they fail the fit and proper test if you don't want them. Again, all up in the air. Some people are saying, I doubt that's going to happen because um, Josh Wander's been voted, uh, is quite highly rated in European football. He obviously owns a few clubs. Um, whether the Premier League want to be brave and be different is up to the Premier League. Um, but I do slightly worry that that is sort of, if he's got that far in European football, um, then it might be all right. Um, they might be all right to get approved, basically. Um so yeah, that's pretty much you know the main bits of it. I think um, there are still lots to go. There's lots of hurdles still to go. Um, a Vasco da Gama fan said that seven 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 came in, stabilized their club, improved all aspects, um, and attracted new sponsors. He's obviously positive, but um, not a lot of them are. Um, some of them are a little bit less positive. They um, before we finish, I did say I don't um. So I'd say who they owned. They own, um, I think they own Standard Liège in Belgium. They have majority stakes in Red Star FC in France, who I mentioned the other day in a video and said I'm surprised they own them. Uh, they have major stakes in Genoa, Standard Liège, Vasco da Gama, Hertha Berlin, Melbourne, Victoria, and a minority in Seville. Um Obviously, Red Star have recently protested against them. Genoa have been relegated. Standard Liège have protested against them. Uh, Vasca da Gama are in the relegation zone. Hertha Berlin relegated. Um, Melbourne um, are mid-table and Seville, I think, are bottom potentially. Um, obviously, not all of that is down to them, but it's not good that they've got two protests against them. Uh, really not a good sign. Red Star, I knew, would do that. Standard Liège have just had one of their worst transfer windows as well, bringing in, um, literally spending just under £2 million. Uh, a lot of them being free transfers, one of them being Isaac Price from Everton. Um, so, yeah, very, very interesting there. It's just a really big shame um, that this has happened. You know, I don't think any of us wanted... It was always going to be tough to find owners in this day and age that are, you know clean but um and it's not so much that like it's not so much what he's been convicted of that's my worry my worry is um that they don't have the the resources to make us what we want to be but um i might be wrong um you know there's a lot of journalists giving out more information on 777 um Chris Anthony of Chris Footy Scoop uh, did a tweet uh, mentioning the clubs they own. He said, here's a list I've compiled of why they may be concerned for Everton fans. He said, government officials reportedly expressed concerns about 777 suitability of owning a Premier League club. The company is involved in ongoing court cases in the USA, raising legal concerns. Managing partner Josh Wanda has previous drug offences, which have raised questions about his sustainability. Uh, partners, 777 partner and sister company Sutton Park have been accused of fraud, offering illegal loans and failing to pay bills. Standard Liège, uh, another club owned by 777, is facing backlash. They've had significant financial mm. issues, but the new ownership has struggled to bring in expensive players. Um, Everton fans should worry about the transparency, integrity and long-term stability of the potential ownerships. So as you can see, not great there. Um, like I said, there's loads to go. Um, if drug offences is one of the problems in sustainability, um, then the Premier League needs to look at it. The government sound like they're not keen on them. It's a lot to go, but yeah, for now, Blues, it looks like this is where it is. 
We'll keep you up to date. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel down below and give me your thoughts on 777. I'll see you soon.